ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? My name is Billify, and of course you see it, we have ourselves the Alchemist Glove here, which has some particles that look really cool. To get this glove, I don't know if it's 10, but I know for sure at 12, if you are a Plague user, all you have to do is slap 12 different people in one life, and you should be good to go. I have a video at the top of the description that you can go and find it if you are looking on how to get it. But this video is going to be focused on all 16 of the potion recipes that are within this cauldron right here. Let's start off with a banger, right? So if you can wander around this map and collect yourself a mushroom, boink, if we then equip our mushroom and put it into the pot by clicking on the water itself, or the uh, mysterious goo as I'll say, we can then click the ladle and get ourselves the grug potion. And uh, if you drink this, then uh... <laughs> You turn into the man that myth the legend himself, Grug. But we have a toxin bar over there on the left hand side. Let's get fully toxic real quick. Become full toxic, we die. <laughs> Don't be drinking too many potions or that will happen. So the next potion for us to grab is going to be the Nightmare Potion, which requires three dark roots. And if you're wondering what the dark roots look like, they are these little black twigs that are sticking out of the ground. And this recipe is very simple. All you're going to do is just take three of these dark roots right here. One, two, three, until you get this deep navy bluish kind of blue and then once you're here just click the ladle and you got yourself a nightmare potion and if you know anything about the gloves of this game you know exactly what this potion's about to do <laughs> By the way, with potions, there's something unique that you can do with them. If you have it in your hand and then you hold it, you can throw it on the ground. <laughs> the next potion on our list is the one we made in the video, which was the confusing potion, which we need a red crystal, a blue crystal, and a glowing mushroom. This is going to be the blue crystal right here. Hmm, I wonder which one's going to be the glowing mushroom. <laughs> that is our glowing mushroom, and now we just need ourselves a red crystal, which it was hiding behind a mushroom. All right, so now let's go back over to our cauldron, take our blue crystal, our red crystal and our glowing mushroom and when we add that up we have ourselves a confusing potion and do you know what this does if you know the gloves then you know that it's gonna do oh I don't know why I did that again. What it's gonna make doing? you have the confusion effects from the confusion glove. What the dog doing for real? <laughs> All right, the next potion for us to brew is gonna be the paralyzing potion. This is a very simple recipe. We're gonna take our plain flour, which is this right here. You can see that. All we have to do is add in two of these. Once we click the ladle, we get ourselves a paralyzing potion, which paralyzes you. <laughs> so this could be very good mid combat and you just huck this down on the ground right in front of you and paralyze a bunch of people. The next potion is going to be the haste potion, which all we need is one autumn sprout and one jade stone. The jade stone is going to be the green cube that you can find along and the autumn sprout for this recipe is going to be these little quad things that stick up out of the ground and they're tan. That right there is the autumn sprout. So now if we go back into our cauldron and we add in one of the autumn sprouts and we also add in one of the jade stones, we get ourselves a green green looking brew, but when we take it, it's uh, a little haste. Look how fast we're swinging this. Look at this. This is the same speed you get to swing all the uh, pay to win gloves, as people say. <laughs> it doesn't last too long, but it does last long enough for you to get into the arena and start smacking everybody up. <laughs> all right, the next potion up that we are going to brew is the power potion, which requires one dire flower, one red crystal, and one wild vine. It will double the glove power of the alchemist for eight seconds. Unfortunately, you cannot throw this one, though. So the dire flower is going to be this purple flower that you see right here. Just go ahead and click that, and you get yourself the dire flower. Of course the red crystal right here right next to it and our wild vine is going to be this green vine that you see right here and those are the three ingredients you're going to need for the power potion a power potion against yourself what does this look like <laughs> 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 The next potion up on our list is going to be the Invisibility Potion, which requires two Hazel Lilies, one Blue Crystal, and that's it. So, of course, the Blue Crystal is going to be this red crystal right here. Psych, it's, of course, the Blue Crystal. I'm going to assume this little one right here is going to be the Hazel Lily, and it is. <laughs> throw in two Hazel Lilies. After that, we throw in one Blue Crystal. We form ourselves the Invisibility Potion. Can this be thrown? Yes, yes it can. You can make everybody invisible. <laughs> Taking this invisibility potion will give you a 10 second invisibility. Nobody can see you and you can walk up and uh... SLAP <laughs> Okay, so you can see the aura effect of the glove while it's out, and that's it. You can't see the glove, just the effects. What the cauldron doing, man? What you doing up here? What are we cooking, Jesse? We're cooking grug. Sorry, grug. The next glove on our list is going to be the explosion potion. It requires one red crystal and two fire flowers. If you drink this, it's going to explode you, but if you throw it down, it will do a good deal of knockback. If you can't guess, these right here are going to be your fire flowers, these orange ones. And if it was a mystery, these red crystals are going to be your red crystals. <laughs> 
<laughs> so if we throw in one red crystal and we throw in two of our fire flowers, we get ourselves the explosion potion. And if we throw this on the ground, <laughs> wow, whoa. Yeah, I like the explosion potion. <laughs> but the next one on the list is going to be the invincible potion, which I think a lot of people are going to like this one. It requires one elder wood and two mushrooms. It makes you immune to every single form of knockback. You can't be ragdolled and you cannot splash this on other players. It's only for you. So it's like the power potion. You can still take damage to your health. Like if plague came up to slap you with the infection, that could work. The effect lasts for about three minutes or until you take your glove out. You can still throw potions without taking away your invincibility. That could be crazy. <laughs> But the elder wood is gonna look like some planks on the ground. And then the mushrooms are just gonna be little old mushrooms right there. And if we take one elder wood and throw it in the mix, and then we take ourselves two of these mushrooms, we get a very white looking cream. And we now have ourselves an invincible potion. We can no longer be slapped. Yeah, and we can still throw potions in this state. Once your glove comes out, you are now back to being able to be slapped. The next potion that we have on our list is gonna be the toxic potion, which requires two dark roots, one blood rose, and one red crystal. If you don't know already, the red crystal is that red crystal there. The blood rose is going to be this red rose right here. We're just going to go ahead and grab that. And then the two dark roots are going to come from these little guys right there. Perfect. Two dark roots. Bop and bop. We take ourselves a blood rose. Bop. And then we take ourselves a red crystal. We have a very red and angry looking potion that turns into a toxic potion. If I were to drink this, this would give me the plague effect. And if we run over to our unsuspecting friends and we heave ourselves... <laughs> Bruh. Are you serious right now, bro? Can infect them. Bruh. Next up on the list is the Freeze Potion, which requires two Winter Roses, one Wild Vine, one Blue Crystal, and one Glowing Mushroom. If you're not sure what the Glowing Mushroom looks like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Look at this perfectly placed blue crystal. I can see from back here, we're gonna get our wild vines right here. This is the dark root, but healthy. <laughs> and then we also have our winter roses right here with the blue stem and the white flower. Two winter roses, place them in there. We take a wild vine, a blue crystal, and ourselves one glowing mushroom. We have a very light blue teal looking pot. And when we combine it, we get ourselves a freezing potion. And when you throw this freezing potion at somebody, they get a little cold, just a little bit though. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> Next up on the list, for all you Dream fans out there, we have a Speed Potion. It requires two mushrooms, one plain flower, one hazel lily, and one blue crystal. The recipe is on your screen now. I think I've showed you enough. <laughs> two regular mushrooms not glowing. We will stick those right in there. Followed up by one plain flower, one hazel lily, and last but not least, a blue crystal, which gives us this color of a cauldron. And when we hit the ladle, we get our Speed Potion, which, look how fast we're going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it increases this for about six seconds and then it wears off and has that slow effect. And the good thing about this is you can give it to everybody so you can make everybody little running maniacs. <laughs> <laughs> the next potion on the list, I believe, is going to be a fan favorite. The Lethal Poison Potion. And this one is going to be quite hard to get, but it's going to be very rewarding. It requires 10 Blood Roses and 10 Dark Roots. So we have our Dark Root right here and our Blood Rose right here. We need to collect two of those. So one each, which honestly isn't too bad. Four things to get this. So 10 Blood Roses and 10 Dark Roots. And we get ourselves the Lethal Poison Potion, which kills any player it comes into contact with. Yeah, throwing this Lethal Potion is kind of lethal. Yeah, kind of, kind of, uh, kind of lethal. <laughs> The next potion on our list is going to be the Slow Potion, which requires two mushrooms, two blue crystals, one jade stone, and one plain flower. And when we combine that, we get ourselves the Slow Potion. And when you hit somebody with the Slow Potion, they are indeed slow. <laughs> it doesn't last too long. Pretty much the same effect as the speed. It's around like six-ish seconds. So the next potion on this list at the time of this recording is not working. And that is the Feather Potion. And for this, all you needed was one mushroom and one hazel lily, but right now it just turns you into rug. If it gets fixed and it's a different recipe, I'll leave it in the comment section below. But we got our mushroom right here and our hazel lily right there. Regular mushroom and a hazel lily. And we got a grug potion, yeah. So this should give you a feather potion in the future, but for right now, it just turns into grug. And last but not least, the 16th potion on our list is gonna be the antitoxin potion. The antitoxin is used to remove any of the plague effect if you have it on you. So if a zombie comes up and slaps you, if they have that plague effect, or if somebody has the plague glove, you could use this antitoxin potion to remove that effect. It will also reset your toxin meter. So for example, if we were to get a grug potion real quick and turn, oh well, all right, I gotta stop doing 
than that. <laughs> if we get a Grog Potion and take it, we have a little bar on the left with that Toxin bar. The Anti-Toxin Potion will remove all of that green that you see there. But the Anti-Toxin Potion is one Elderwood, one Glowing Mushroom, one of these blue crystals, and two Plain Flowers. When you go to throw everything in, like the blue crystal, the Glowing Mushroom, two Plain Flowers, and one Elderwood, it gives you back a Paralyzing Potion right now. But that's all the recipes, so I'm gonna have a guide that you can kind of screenshot if you'd like, so that you can pull it up on your screen or something, or on your phone or something while you're playing the game, and have a quick guide. I will drop a counters video for this, just due to the fact that there are some gloves that we're gonna have to, uh, or there are some potions that we're gonna have to, you know, get finicky with. Hopefully this guide helps you out for all the potion crafting you'd like to do. Other than that, I hope every single one of you have a great rest of your day or night whenever you do end up watching this, and I shall see you in the counters. Later!